free career training that could even lead to a job offer. That's what Hillsborough County is offering to fill jobs that require a certain skill set that officials say many people don't have anymore. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us the program in the works right now that could help fill the skill gap. Turning on your faucet, flushing your toilet. They may seem like guarantees to most of us. We got 5,000 uh, 5, miles of pipe. We got enough pipe to stretch from here to almost Hawaii. So we've got a lot of infrastructure. And while the parts are all in place, the folks behind the scenes making sure everything works, well, they're in short supply. We've seen a significant number of baby boomers retiring, and that has been uh, coined as the tsunami, silver tsunami. The need is high and we need to be getting folks in as soon as possible. George Cassidy, the assistant county administrator for public utilities, says that includes electricians, mechanics, instrumentation technicians, and operations staff. Those are great jobs. They have self-sustaining wages. They're very portable. And guess what? There's a high demand for those types of skills and competencies out in the uh, public as well as private sector. And with not a lot of training options out there at the moment because it's so specialized, the county decided it would offer free training to folks interested in not only joining their team, but other organizations that are looking for that same help. The school district, HCC, Tampa General, for example. So this is not exclusive to Hillsborough County. Uh, there is going to be a requirement that they be Hillsborough County residents because, of course, we're trying to make sure that we're uplifting our citizens. There's not a requirement that they go into employment at Hillsborough County. The program is being developed right now as officials work to not only create a curriculum, but work out how and where they'll deliver the training. It's expected to cost about $500,000 to get it up and running, which is expected to be by the end of 2022. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.